Hello all and welcome to episode 3 of the You Reviewers Movie Awards, the movie awards show for you by people like you, as Roddy Piper once said. I'm back here with the schmoes and we're down to the wire for the categories. The supporting actors and actresses, that is. So shit is getting real now. Introductions have already been made in the first video, so let's get right to it. And for the first category, our presenters are actually the co-hosts. You've seen them for the past two videos for the You Reviewers Movie Awards, and I'm not quite sure if they're a prequel to The Odd Couple or a prequel to Grumpy Old Men. In either case, presenting our first category, are the schmoes. Best Breakthrough Performances. Well, that was a lot of fun. Our next presenter is, of course, who? Oh, you don't even know, do you? You're, you're improvising and you don't even know who it is. It's us. I'm sure it's somebody very talented. Yeah, yeah it's, it's us. It's me. Yeah, no, it's us. All right, fine. Us. This one is Breakthrough Actress and Breakthrough Actor. Yeah, this is the opposite of the Career Achievement yeah. Award. We're not trotting out some 90-year-old to grab an award and go backstage and take their Metamucil. No, this is a young up-and-comer who thinks he's going to be around cinema for yeah. a long time, and I hope they let us sleep in their guest house. And I have to tell you, it was a landslide for both of these. Uh, I will be presenting the Breakthrough Actor, and you will be presenting the Breakthrough Actress. <laughs> you, right. you want to trust me with the young girl? Let's roll the dice. Oh my God, Bright Eyes, run. What? Ladies and gentlemen, this year's You Reviewers Breakthrough Actor is Spider-Man himself, Social Network, Andrew Garfield. Good job, Spidey. We applaud you. And there were a couple of breakthrough performances for actor this year. Spider-Man and Kick-Ass. But Garfield really showed his acting chops in this movie. And he actually made me okay with the fact that he's gonna be Spider-Man. Even though he's like... 30. Congratulations, Garfield. Now don't suck his Spidey, or all of my subscribers will probably kill you. That's right, Andrew Garfield played the guy that kind of got screwed in the social network. He maybe yeah. helped create Facebook with Mark Zuckerberg, and then he uh, just wasn't as good looking as no. Justin Timberlake. No, and then he went on to take really creepy pictures of Spider-Man, like sticking his balls in some guy's face. What? Did you see the new pictures? No. Oh, that's awful. Oh, good. Well, we'll give the guy an award and then beat him up a little bit. All right. Teabagging is always welcome <laughs> here at the nice. Reviewers Award. Right. Um, trying to segue out of that creepiness, I am going to be presenting the Best Breakthrough Actress uh, category. And you know, um, we, there was a lot of breakthrough actresses this year. I don't know what you're doing. Uh, that was a drum roll. It was like you were having some sort of uh, <laughs> problem. Yeah. Um, if anybody saw the film True Grit, you probably are aware that the person who, uh, in my opinion, stole the entire movie was the young girl who played Maddie Ross. And that, of course, is Haley Steinfeld. Yes. And for the girls as well, there were a couple of hopefuls for this one. That girl from Kick-Ass and Let Me In, and Haley Steinfeld. I didn't care too much for Let Me In, but that girl had a good year. But Haley Steinfeld, let's face it, we're still talking about her. She was that girl that was like a freak, you know? She's just like too smart for her own good. I really think she could kick my ass in math and chess. And general vocabulary. Definitely spelling. Now I hate her. Now good job, Steinfeld. You deserve it. You cannot see this movie and not come out of it talking about her. Yeah, I mean, she was so good, in it, and she hit this. I mean, she speaks better than you and I ever will ever. That's right, and again, these are the breakthrough ones, so uh, for Haley and for Andrew, again, like Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility. Do good work, all right? Don't be like Halle Berry and win an award and then go off and make Catwoman, all right? Be yourselves, be true to yourself, and I love how Haley like, makes Justin Bieber wait a little bit before she returns his text. Oh, yeah. Keep him on a leash. Is that true? Yeah, well, I, I don't know. And we're on to our next category, Best Supporting Actress. Because what would the main actors have if they didn't have the supporting actors to bounce their lines off of? Unless you're Sam Rockwell and Moon, you usually need a supporting crew. You know, the women in this film that basically you know, put on such a great performance and add to... You know, you cannot, it's like literally the uh, Pippin to the Jordan. Very good, you know, it's, yeah. It's what it is and... The Harlock to the Ellis. Mm, false. And here to give us the winner for Best Supporting Actress of 2010 is two-time runner-up for Best Beard on YouTube, Mike from Belated Media. Take it away. Best Supporting Actress A dedicated queen, a vengeful cowgirl, a spunky ballerina, and two ladies from LOL. The nominees are Helena Bonham Carter for The King's Speech. You can expect to see her soon in the final installment of the Harry Potter series, and then after that, a lot of Tim Burton films. Haley Steinfeld for True Grit. As a newcomer, you probably haven't seen any of her previous works, but you can be damn sure that her agent doesn't want her going back to school. Mila Kunis for Black Swan. You've heard her as Megan Family Guy, and seen her in magazines, and been very happy for that. Expect to see her in the upcoming Seth MacFarlane feature, Ted, starring Marky Mark. Melissa Leo for The Fighter. You can look forward to more Leo this year in Kevin Smith's Red State. Be sure to catch the tour as it passes through your city, and BT dubs, I'm a Virgo. And closing out our nominees is Amy Adams, also for The Fighter. 
Older folks may have seen her in Doubt, younger folks may have seen her in Enchanted. We'll ignore Leap here. And you can look forward to her in the new Muppets movie. Also, there was this rumor flying around about her playing Miss Frizzle in the new Magic School Bus movie. If anybody knows about this, please leave details on my channel. Oh, Danny Tamborelli, what happened to you? And the winner is... Haley Steinfeld for True Grit. Congratulations, you young thing, you. Look at that, Haley Steinfeld winning it again. Now, uh -huh. a lot of people were pissed off, by the way, that she, was, that she was nominated for Best Supporting and thought she should have a Best Actress nod. Hey, you know what? What do you think? I, I, she was in the movie. She carried the movie, did she not? I know that it was her story. I get it. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm on the fence about it. I understand yeah. that. The, I'm, I'm happy that she that she ended up winning something that, instead of just being nominated. You that's know? the thing, though. She would have. I, th I think you know if she would have went up against Natalie Portman and Nat Benning. You know, yeah. I, I don't know if she's gonna have a chance. But yeah. this one, she took it. She is the first ever You Reviewers Best Supporting Actress. Congratulations, Haley Steinfeld. That's right. We can celebrate in five years. That's right. All right, Schmoes, going for the retirement plan. Now, I actually got to give my two cents on this. I actually do think that Haley Steinfeld should have been up for Best Actress, not Supporting Actress of 2010. Because it was her story, it was her movie. Jeff Bridges, yeah, he was older, but he was the supporting character. He helped her go get Brolin. But she stole the show, she had the dialogue, she had the story, and she was in it the most. Best Actress, even if she is, like, 11. However, she won, and that makes me happy. And our next category, the other end of the coin for Best Supporting Actress, Best Supporting Actor. And as we've all seen in the past, Jack Sparrow, Heath Ledger's Joker. Supporting actors can take the movie and just steal it. And here to present Best Supporting Actor is our buddy. If you're a film fan or a film reviewer on YouTube, you've probably interacted with this guy. He's been one of my biggest supporters ever since I had like 30 subscribers. He was the guy, he saw me and he was like, you know what, dude, I like you, you got something, keep it up. He was the dude that made me go, you know what, maybe I should do this. I call him the Mace Windu of YouTube, and I've officially talked about him more than I've talked about the category, and he is Fury of the Film Fan. Fury's one of our buddies, he obviously yeah. he did uh, our Oscar special with us, and now he gets to be part of the real movie award well, season. We love the Fury is is doing this. The Fury film fan is one of the one of the first YouTube reviewers out there, and yeah. he's been so supportive of us. He's been great. This guy is a film fan. Yeah. It's in his title. He knows what's going on. He's a New York dude. He breaks it down and he's going to be breaking it down for you with his own type of special presentation. Fury of the Film Fan. Best Supporting Actor. I hope everyone is enjoying the You Reviewer Movie Awards. Now I want to do a little something with you guys. Close your eyes. Go ahead. It's okay. Close them. Now imagine the following films. No Country for Old Men. Inglorious Bastards. The Dark Knight. All right, now open your eyes. I'm betting that the following images came up when you thought of No Country for Old Men. Picturing Javier Bardem walk around with that weird hairdo, popping people in the head with that crazy air gun thingy. Or Christoph Waltz as the German assassin in Inglorious Bastards. Or how about Heath Ledger in his amazing performance as the Joker in The Dark Knight. All supporting roles, all unforgettable characters. Supporting characters have a tricky role to play. While vital to the overall story, they can't outshine the main character. But done right, a supporting character not only elevates the main character, but the entire film itself. A great supporting character can turn a good film into a great film. This year's nominees are Christian Bale in The Fighter, Jeffrey Rush in The King's Speech, Andrew Garfield in The Social Network, Jeremy Renner in The Town, and Tom Hardy in Inception. And the winner is... Christian Bale. Yes, yes, Christian Bale. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody voted. They voted right. Christian Bale deserves this win. All right, good stuff. All right, where do I... Oh, oh this way? Okay. All right. To nobody's surprise, Bale wins it. He should have won it. He was awesome in it. Thank you, Fury. That was really awesome the way you broke that down. I agree with you. Yeah. Um, I mean, Bale, Bale was awesome. Bale was basically 
Smoking crack. He's incredible. But what he puts himself through, he loses all the weight to play Dickie Echo. Now he's going to put on a bunch of weight to play Batman. I can do one of those two things well. Put on a Batman suit and eat cake. Happy birthday to Mark. Christian Bale, man, personally, I think he's one of the best actors of our time. Because in American Psycho, we all believed the guy would kill you with a chainsaw down a flight of stairs. As Batman, we all believed that he was not. What an occupant. And in The Fighter, we all still believe that he was on crack. So Haley Steinfeld for two awards, Andrew Garfield and Christian Bale. I cannot look you in the eyes and tell you that those people were anything less than amazing in those roles. So that's our show for episode three of the You Reviewers Movie Awards. Episode four coming tomorrow on the Schmoes channel, where we wrap it up big, man. We got best actor, best actress, best director, and best picture. And special guest Katie Sackhoff from Battlestar Galactica. I'm happy about that. <laughs> I genuinely am happy. You like that? I keep my fanboyism in. So again, thank you to the Schmoes for co-hosting with me. Thank you all for watching, spreading the word, and thank you to all who watched the first video and left hate comments and are now back to watch the third video because that makes no sense to me, but I, I like it and I thank you for it. Until next time, I know we are not the most professional award show. I know that. But we are fun. How fun? I'll put it to you this way. Danielle from Just Sex TV and Duncan Rocks saw an advanced screening of the You Reviewers Movie Awards. Three minutes and 46 seconds later, this happened. Is anyone else strangely turned on right now? No, seriously, you're not? I mean, come on, that mustache is awesome. I mean, um... <clears throat>